what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Tamar Ramari of The Real, husband Adam, is being called a racist for posting some intentionally misleading information about black South Africans on Twitter. Adam, who worked for many years at Fox News, not surprisingly, took to Twitter on Thursday and posted about death and disease in South Africa. According to Adam, one million body bags have been sent to South Africa. Adam further asserts that 8.5 million people in the country have AIDS or TB. That statement, family, is simply a bold-faced lie. South Africa has been fighting the spread of HIV for years, but the numbers are nowhere near the numbers that he say it is. Further, because of new medicines, living with HIV is no longer a death sentence. To put South Africa's numbers in context, a black person in South Africa is 50% less likely to contract HIV than a white, gay, or bisexual man in the United States. And less than 5% of those infected with HIV in South Africa have their disease progress to AIDS. Adam's comments are in line with many open racist South Africans who post misleading numbers, then blame black government of not being able to run the country effectively. Now, why would they do that? Simple. The hope is to undermine the government to get the country to return to white rule. Check out a couple of tweets this sucker sent out. Tonight I have learned that one million body bags have been delivered to South Africa. It's estimated that nearly 8.5 million people have AIDS or TB in the country, and they are very worried about what's coming with coronavirus. That's more than 20% of the population. 71,000 died of AIDS-related illness in 2018. 124,000 died of TB in South Africa in 2016. You can see, it won't take much to make those numbers explode. There's worry their government can't come close to handling the situation. As soon as that clown jumped off the porch with that nonsense, people from South Africa began dragging him, pointing out that only five people have died from coronavirus in the entire country, and all of them were foreigners. One person tweeted, wrong delivery. We ordered grocery bags because we are busy shopping and drinking water. Otherwise, SA debt toll five, US debt toll 2000. Don't worry, the delivery has been sent back, coming to the right address soon. Another person tweeted, Adam, South Africa has had five debts thus far. If any country needs those body bags, it's yours. Leave us alone and focus on your own coronavirus mess. Delete this, five people have died. There are far more in the U.S. The hits and the insults just kept going on and on and on. And rightfully so, because this is not the first time dude has been called a racist. Look it up. He has a history, well-documented history. What does she see in him? Hmm. Better yet. What does he see in her? That relationship kind of reminds me of a massa slave relationship. You know, they have those types out there. You got those men out there that they want that type of relationship. And you got some women who want it too. Yeah, they got that Stockholm 2.0. Yeah, they want it. They want that massive slave relationship. Bet you anything he's called her the N-word before. More than once. I wouldn't be surprised. You know why? Because once a Fox News bigot 
always a Fox News bigot. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?